Hello. I'm going to be refuting the claim today that climate change negatively affects lives, health, and livelihoods of people around the globe. The supporting points given were that the effects of climate change are a major threat to agriculture and food security. Extreme weather damages the infrastructure and threatens livelihoods. And then the final supporting point was the warming of the earth causes health issues. And I'm here to show you that she did not draw, or her reasoning did not link her supporting points back to her main proposition. So for the first supporting point, the effects of climate change is a major threat to agriculture and food security. She used examples from the Hunger Report and Bread of the World Institute that were like statistics on droughts and how they're affecting the famine in Uganda and other southern African countries. And these were credible sources and you can't deny that the droughts are negatively impacting the agriculture and the people over there, but she fails to draw the link between climate change um, making the droughts worse. So she would have had evidence proving that these droughts were made worse in, Af or that the <coughs> climate change was making the droughts worse in Africa, it would have supported her main proposition, but it didn't, so that claim was not sufficiently supported. And then in response to her second supporting claim, she said that extreme weather damages our infrastructure and threatens our livelihoods. Um, she supported this with recent examples of how uh, Hurricane Maria and Irma like destroyed Puerto Rico and how Hurricane Harvey destroyed or caused massive flooding in Houston. And of course you can't deny this because we've all seen on the news how these are like damaging the cities in Puerto Rico. But she didn't give evidence on how these hurricanes are worse, made worse by climate change, or how these hurricanes um, are more severe than other ones in history. Um, according to the Library of Congress website, one of the deadliest hurricanes that has affected America hit in September of 1900. Um, the flooding hit Galveston, Texas, and just completely destroyed the city, and like the people that were stuck in the city caused a huge famine. And I'm going to argue that 1900 was probably before climate change was the biggest issue. So there's been extreme weather all throughout history that causes huge problems for its infrastructure. And then in response to her third claim, the warming of the earth caused health issues, she had two examples to support this. The first example was uh, the death rate in Australia linked to, was linked to increased heat waves in urban areas caused by climate change. Um, I thought this was probably her strongest support of, of her argument. However, in her main proposition, she said it was affecting the health and livelihoods of people around the globe, and this was like only Australia, so she's trying to say that it's affecting globally. She should have had evidence not just from Australia, multiple countries. And then the second example to support this was about an allergen increase cause, causing more asthma issues but her sourcing for this was not clear. In the speech, she said her information was from an article from People and Planet. And then when I went back through the bibliog bibliography to look for where this came from, it wasn't, <coughs> nothing lined up with it. And so I looked up peopleplanet.org and I eventually found the article. And she was using information from a student campaign website from students in the UK. And although like this information may be valid, I don't think that's a reliable source for scientific evidence on allergens. And so to conclude, I think that climate change is negatively affecting lives, health, and livelihoods of people around the globe, but that the supporting points uh, the advocate used were not linked back to this claim, and that made her argument invalid. Thank you.
Okay, well, the structural stuff is fine at the beginning. You do kind of give us a general overview suggesting that your main argument is going to be that the secondary points don't substantiate the main proposition because there's something that's missing. On the first point, it's very clear what it is that you're saying is missing, and that is that there's not any demonstration that the droughts that we're talking about here are related to climate change. I thought it was interesting that on the second point, you provided us with some examples about how uh, uh, hurricane events and other extreme weather have occurred well before we had any experiences with uh, global climate uh, change or warming and you know, that sort of thing. And I just thought, well, why, you know, as I got to that point and I'm listening to that, I'm thinking, well, you should have had something like that on the first point, too. It's not like droughts are unknown, they, that they haven't existed before now, that they only exist now because of global climate change. We've had huge problems with the droughts over the years there and sometimes the problems with droughts have less to do with climate than they have to do with water distribution systems in the countries that are suffering from the droughts so I think there's alternate causality that you could be talking about here and maybe some other examples to do the same sort of thing like you did on the second point on the second point I think that uh, you do make a valid criticism that says there's no evidence that suggests that climate change made these hurricanes any worse there's nothing cited by the advocate on those particular points that's a good point point. And then I like the fact that you've got an example that says, you know, 100 years ago or you know, 100 plus years ago, we had a similar kind of thing that happened to Houston, happened to Galveston, which is well before anybody was talking about climate change as an issue that's going on. So these massive kinds of weather activities happen on a regular basis that has little to do with, you know, whatever we might be seeing as uh, climate change. On the third point, um, it sounds like you're making kind of an evaluation here uh, of the argument instead of a, a refutation of the argument, you know, uh, suggesting that the advocate should have provided more evidence to support it being global in nature, not just uh, Australia, and that, um, you know, that, that, that there's, you know, so I think that that's, you know, at best, you're kind of suggesting that she's making uh, uh, an inductive generalization from an insufficient uh, example. I think that's the way you want to phrase it as opposed to saying, here's how she could have made her argument better. Uh, yes. Just say, this argument is insufficient to reach the conclusion that there's a global problem. I'm sorry, Australia is having a problem, but that doesn't show that it's global in nature. We don't have any other data that supports that conclusion. And then I did think that uh, you did a nice job kind of tracking down the one piece of information saying, this comes from a student project that's given us information here. And I'm not saying that the students don't want to know what the hell that they're talking about, but we shouldn't be relying on that as a form of evidence to make a conclusion about what the dangers are here. So, I, you know, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt on that third point, even though I think you're making more evaluation and then you get to the end of the speech where it does suddenly does turn into an evaluation it's not a refutation anymore because you're basically saying yeah you're right all these bad things are happening you just didn't prove it you know that that would be I think I've said it before I've probably given you the example the defense attorney standing up and saying it in the conclusion of their argument yeah my clients guilty as hell but the prosecution didn't prove it so don't find them guilty that's not the way you want to finish your argument just just start with the just go with the point that you've made they failed to provide the link, they failed to demonstrate their own claim, and there's reason to doubt their conclusions. You don't have to take the opposite position. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.